Hello viewers, welcome back to another section of my multivariable calculus tutorial and in this video we're going to tackle potential function. So I have a problem here, I have a gradient field and you have to find a potential function from this gradient field. Now, the gradient field is in three variables x, y and what and z, right? Yeah, so because of that, we have to convert this back to the potential function now the potential function is the assumed function which we found the derivative to get this gradient field that we have here so now let's see how we're going to go by this problem don't forget to subscribe you like and you share so first of all what you're going to do is you're going to take one part of this gradient function here sorry gradient Field here. Here is to x. That is, this place is the f of the x. Likewise, this place is the f of the y. Then the other part is the f on the z. So we're going to take any of them, but normally it's advisable to take the one which will be easier to integrate first. So if I have my df over dx to be equal to 2x cos of y minus 2z cubed, then if I integrate this back again, I should get my potential function. That is an option. So integral of 2x cos y minus 2z cubed dx, right? Yeah. So integrating this, I'm only going to get x squared cos y minus 2xz cubed but my constant of integration now becomes a function of two variables that is h of y and z so once i have this the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to find this then i complete my potential function now since this is my potential function if I differentiate it with respect to x, I should get exactly what I have here. If I differentiate it with respect to y, I should get exactly what I have here. And finally, if I differentiate it with respect to z, I should get here. So for that reason, if I want to find the function of h of yz, then first of all, I'm going to differentiate my potential function with respect to y, and I should get this. So my df over the y simply equal to this one is um, x squared so if i differentiate it with respect to y only this is affected so i'm going to get what negative x squared sine y right so then when i come here with respect to y everything will be zero but here since it's two variables I'm going to get hy of yz that is the partial derivative with respect to what y is that not it then i can compare this to what i have here you realize that our negative x squared sine y is the same thing here therefore my hy of yz will be equal to the remaining term here which is 3 plus 2y e to the power z so once I have this, this is a derivative, a partial derivative. So if I want to find my h of yz, I will still integrate this whole function with respect to what y, which is also going to give me 3y plus, is going to give me y squared e to the power z. But my constant of integration here since I'm doing the partial derivative with respect to y, will be h of z. Take note. This is the most important step. When you tackle the two variable aspects, when you integrate it further, the last part will be the constant, which is a function of the last variable. So finally, I have this as my h of y and z. I go back to the function, my main potential function back again and I'm going to get f 
is equal to x squared cos y minus 2x dq plus i add this there y y squared e to the power z plus h of z now i'm still not done i still have to find my h of z before i complete my potential function so what am i going to do i'm simply going to differentiate this potential function with respect to z then i compare it back to my gradient vector field so when i differentiate with respect to z this will be zero this is going to give me negative 6xz squared this will be zero this is going to give me what plus y squared e to the power z back again then h prime of z so once i have this i'm going to compare this to the other parts which i have in the question this part so you realize that they are the same i'm having my y squared e to the power z the negative 6x z squared is the same thing what i have here and that should tell us that our h prime of z is equal to what zero right so for that reason my h of z will simply be integral of zero dz therefore my h of z is simply equal to c hence my potential function f is equal to x squared cos y minus 2x z cubed plus 3y plus y squared e to the power z plus c thanks for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share see you in the next tutorial